my channel, you guys. It's your girl, Rada LaVon. I am here today to show y'all how I do box braids on my own head in the back. I left out a little section just to show you guys. Um, I've been doing my own box braids now for about, I say about two years, two, three years, something like that. Um, and I always get questions. Oh my gosh, how you do your own box braids? Like, how you see the bag? How you know how to part it? So I just want to do a video just to touch on that subject, show you guys exactly how I achieve it. And yeah, if you want to see how I get it done, girl, keep right on watching. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and take the bow off, get ready to just comb through and detangle this little section. I normally don't do the middle last. I normally start with the back, work my way forward to the front of my head to do box braids. This time was just a little bit different. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put both sections of hair that's already done. I just split it into two in the back. I'm going to put them both in little ponytails just to get it out of my way. So I can go ahead and get the middle braided. Yeah. Okay, so right here, you guys, I'm just trying to get my boxes as even as possible. Um, I like them to be a certain thickness. I normally do them bigger in the back, a little smaller in the front section. So they don't have to be extremely perfect for me. Um, you know, it is kind of difficult given the circumstances of doing them yourself and trying to use the hand mirror, the whole nine. So I just do them as best as I can, try to make them as neat as possible. I am going to notice that that section is a little bit too thin, so I'm gonna go ahead right here and repart it, add a little bit more hair. So what I'm doing right here is just braiding downwards in a downward motion. I do that until I get around my neck area. Then you're going to see me pull the hair to the side and finish it as I look in the mirror. So I can kind of see exactly what I'm doing and add edge control as needed.
I normally use the Shine and Jam product, y'all, that comes in the yellow container, I did run out of that product. So right here, I am using Style Factors Edge Control, and it does pretty much the same thing for me, just blending my ends into the braiding hair. So I know my head was a little out of frame starting that first braid. So I'm going to go ahead and do one more for y'all. So I went on and finished the rest off camera. This is how the braids look straight before I dip them. I am going to go ahead and make my ends curly. So I've got my little rollers on hand. I'm going to go ahead and roll them up and I'll be back. all done i wanted to show you guys my sister's hair i did her hair a week ago her braids are a little bit smaller and she kept her straight i also wanted to show you guys this is the pack of hair that i use the queen bee braiding hair the green hair that i have in my head is also from the same brand but not that pack thank y'all so much for watching subscribe like comment and follow me on snapchat